Miners in South Africa have largely defied a deadline issued by their employer to return to work today. More than 70% of the workers at the Marikana Platinum Mine stayed off the job, and officials with the mining company Lawnman said that the mine was unable to restart full production. The stalemate continues after a controversial week in which police opened fire on a group of workers, killing 34. FSRN's Davison Matsingwa reports. The South African government is battling to retain stability following a week of clashes that left dozens of miners and two police officers dead at the platinum mine situated outside Rustenburg, about 60 miles northwest of Johannesburg. President Jacob Zuma announced a raft of measures in a bid to contain the labor issue that escalated into a tragedy. Today is not an occasion for blame finger pointing or recrimination. The president has appointed a commission of inquiry to investigate the root cause of the violence. A week of mourning has also been declared and a high level delegation of ministers has visited the mine in an effort to ease tensions. But rights organizations and ordinary South Africans described the moves as too little too late. What the, the police did was trying to Keep the people quiet by shooting them, and that, that's not the proper way to, to do things. 27-year-old Temba Vilakazi's sentiments are shared by many South Africans who say the Marikana situation should have been handled better. Sending a, a shooting squad to go and massacre people is not a solution because the, the problems are still there. They need to be sorted out. For social commentator Francis Wersham. The fatal clashes on Thursday were a culmination of long and resolved issues of mine workers. He told FSR Ryan that the Marikana situation represents the general plight of mine workers in South Africa. If you look at the post-apartheid era in South Africa, this is the worst thing that has ever happened. And I believe that there is a lack of leadership in government. There is lack of the need to address the root cause of, of, of the problems that miners themselves are facing because the miners are being ill-treated. They have genuine grievances. Addressing the striking miners this weekend, former ruling party youth leader Julius Malema urged the president and police minister to resign. The workers commenced the World Cat protest last week, forcing the closure of Lone Mini's South African operations. Miners only make about $500 a month for working more than eight hours a day in often dangerous conditions. Deaths at platinum mines have also increased this year. South Africa produces more than 80% of the world's platinum, but operations have been affected by high costs of energy and water. Tefsan Zingwa, FSRN, South Africa.